I started this race uh, a few days ago, feels like longer, but a few days ago, because we've been going through a trust deficit in our politics. We may have uh, issues with our currency and sound money, but we certainly have an issue with the credibility of our government and sound politics. And so I ran on a ticket to have a clean start. And I think that's what we still need. So I am here saying that despite the rumours that some of you have been spreading, naturally fed by others, of course, I'm still in this fight. And I'm here this morning because I think it's important that if you're asking for people's trust, if you're asking for the credibility or for them to have credibility in you to lead the country, then you need to be open. Now, of course, it's true. The first stage of the election, as we all know, is 300 or more of the most sophisticated electorate in the United Kingdom. And we all know that the next stage is with the membership, which is really important because you've got to be championing the values and ideas of those who send you here in the first place. But the next stage is about the country. And I think what members of Parliament and what members of the Conservative Party also need to know is that whoever it is who they choose as their leader at the end of this process is somebody who can champion those ideas and values in the election that's coming in 2024 and then I hope maybe in 2029 as well.